What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I'm going to check out bad news for the WWE Champion, good news for CM Punk, and a huge WWE crossover, new WWE stable potentially on the way, and other wrestling news from WrestleMania. Appreciate all the love and support y'all have shown on the channel. Let's see what WrestleMania has for us today, and let's get right into it, man going on guys it is wrestlemania here back with some more news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including is cm punk cleared to wrestle is damian priest injured drew mcintyre's next feud revealed the real reason chad gable is staying in wwe plans for the uncle howdy stable revealed a major wwe announcement and much more be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on facebook for exclusive lists also check out our new videos on wrestlemania xl now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at CM Punk cleared to wrestle. Our top story today takes a look at the very latest on CM Punk's status as an in-ring performer. Punk's appearance at Clash at the Castle post-show press conference made for interesting viewing as Punk offered insight into key areas of his personal and professional life. Punk would state that next week is a huge week for him and he'll find out if he's going to be medically cleared to compete. I was cleared for only for referee duty. I had a hiccup out there, but we'll go back to the lab and reassess. My arm feels amazing. I got permission to skip Raw and Corpus Christi to go back home to Chicago to see my doctors with the idea that I'm going to be cleared. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. I think SmackDown's in Chicago next week. So I'm a Raw guy and skip Raw. Get cleared and show up on SmackDown to give everyone the good news, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully Punk is cleared and WWE can put Punk's creative plans in motion. Punk did get some... WWE Draft? What does that mean? <laughs> somewhat physical during the Clash at the Castle main event, which is a possible sign that WWE have high hopes for Punk being cleared. Next up is Damian Priest injured. One of the talking points coming Ooh. out of Clash at the Castle is a potential injury to world champion Damian Priest. Brutal As spot. As Priest ascended over the top rope, his foot got caught in the... Well, it wasn't even really supposed to be a spot. It was just... It was more or less a botch, but still... Still in real time, definitely did not look good. ...ropes, and once he was free, it was apparent that Priest was in serious pain. Priest spent the majority of the match limping, and it was a miracle that Priest was even able to finish the match. Kudos to Priest hitch. for finishing Priest the match. Priest appeared on the post PLE press conference, and the world champion stated that his foot feels like trash and that he needs to get it medically assessed. I mean, it feels like trash right now. I didn't even go to medical yet, so I could do this and talk to you guys. So you're welcome. Docs will check it out. I ain't going anywhere. I was able to beat Drew McIntyre on one foot, so I'm ready to go. Damn. While Priest sounds somewhat optimistic towards the end of his comments, the concern was once again raised when Priest could barely walk off the stage at the press conference. Priest was noticeably limping, but hopefully it's a case that Priest receives encouraging news from the WWE medical team. We'll During see. his appearance at the press conference, Priest did state that he's ready for Gunther at SummerSlam, so it's possible that if Priest's injury is minor, then WWE have Priest skipped money in the bank in anticipation for Gunther at SummerSlam. Might as well just have... I, I figured they were going to have him skip it. If this injury is that serious, just skip it. Have him skip um, money in the bank. So that way he can kind of rest up and get ready for Gunther. I mean, that's going to be a, a fucking hard hitting match anyway. There's no need to have him to be on the show anyways, to be honest with you. No need for it. Just have you got the money in the bank is really going to sell itself on just the money in the bank matches, ladder matches anyway. So I wouldn't even push it. Just have him rest, get ready for Gunther and you go from there. Some fans on social media last night were suggesting that WWE should have called an audible and have McIntyre win. This would have been difficult to execute as Priest was still able to wrestle in the match itself and it would have meant that the final angle involving CM Punk wouldn't have been able to go down. As always, we'll keep you posted on Priest's status. Next up, Drew McIntyre's next feud revealed. As many fans expected, CM Punk interfered in last night's main event and mm -hmm. managed to cost Drew McIntyre the world title yet again. McIntyre is now livid and he's coming for Punk and it's likely that the match goes down at SummerSlam in August. Whilst a Punk-McIntyre feud is clearly WWE's direction, McIntyre has hinted that he has interest in another feud. Speaking of Fightful, McIntyre revealed, Yeah, that is actually my goal. There have been situations where it's been difficult and I have people in my business and I just wanted to jump on them and rip their heads off. I have to focus on the task at hand and focus on what's important. I have to focus on what's best for business and what's best for me. The bloodline made McIntyre's life a living hell in 2022, and Solo Sokoa cost McIntyre the title at the inaugural Clash at the Castle event. McIntyre being reinserted into the bloodline drama may seem somewhat random, however with McIntyre basically being a tweener on WWE TV, it could work if the WWE handles the booking with care and attention. 
fixed up a triple. It could definitely work if, you know, a baby face Roman and a disgruntled, disgruntled heel tweener Drew McIntyre. I can't. That's going to be perfect. Because once again, Roman comes back, baby face is not. He's going to have to answer to a lot of people he has screwed over. As he should. So, hopefully that's the case going forward. We'll see. Triple H and CM Punk getting along. It was no secret that Triple H and CM Punk weren't exactly best friends during Punk's first run in the WWE. However, since Punk returned to WWE last November, it's been said that Punk and the game have been getting along well backstage. That's the good. The question is, is that still the case? Triple H addressed his relationship with Punk on the post-PLE press conference last night, and the game had an open and honest analysis of the relationship. There is a change and there is a new era, a new atmosphere, all those things. Absolutely, in some ways, there are things he was asking for and started a long time ago, at a time that maybe he and I, for a lot of reasons, just saw things differently from each other. We saw eye to eye, but it was angry eye to eye. It was opposition eye to eye. I cannot tell you how happy I am to have him back. I cannot tell you how exciting it is for me to see the Phil Brooks that I wanted to see then. Triple H would then state that Punk has been a pleasure to be around and he can't wait to work with him for the foreseeable future. The idea of Triple H speaking so positively about Punk even 12 months ago would have never been likely, yet this is wonderful to see and it's encouraging that the working relationship is so strong between the two. Next up- Because they're adults and time kind of, you know, passed and people were able to assess things and, you know, you shouldn't be how you was 10 years ago. If you're acting the same way you was 10 years ago, what's wrong with you? So the fact that they're able to be in a room, hash things out, make things work, and they're in a better place. They may not be best friends, but they're in a better place. That's how life's supposed to fucking be. There's no reason why I should have gripes with you when we're out here making millions and millions of dollars. They're adults, so that's good that they're on the same page. Love to hear it. I don't. I don't I'm, to me, that's just like they're adults. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's not newsworthy, but it's good to hear. So, the real reason why Chad Gable is staying in WWE. Now it's official, Chad Gable is staying with WWE. His contract was set to expire, but he has since confirmed to Gorilla Position that he has put pen to paper and formally re-signed with the company. There was said to be interest from other companies such as AEW in signing Gable, and rightly so, as Gable has it all. In relation to exactly why he decided to stay with WWE, he offered some insight during an interview with Gorilla Position. I've re-signed, Triple H took over, and my trajectory changed. He did. He delivered on everything he told me. He said he was trying to find consistent places on TV for everybody. I'm like, I've heard it all before, but then I saw it was true. This is great to see, and That's it's fantastic awesome. for talent morale that the game has stuck to his promise to a top talent, and this will inevitably increase the chances of other wrestlers re-signing with WWE when their contracts are set to expire. A Triple H did briefly comment on Gable re-signing during the post-PLE press conference, and the game had some flattering comments to make towards Gable, and he stated that he hopes that the former tag team champion stays with WWE forever. Next up- Oh yeah, bro. We've never seen Chad Gable in this type of situation since he's been on the main roster. This is fantastic. And we're just getting started, bro. I do think at some point, Chad Gable is going to become the new IC champion. And it's 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 gonna be great. They're doing great things with him. They're going doing great things with Alpha Academy. They're making you care about Otis. They're making you care about Maxine. They're making you care about uh Tazawa. That whole group that was essentially just a comedy group. They're making you care. They're getting you invested. They got them on TV regularly. Good morale for if you're trying to see if you want to stay in WWE or not. Love to see it. Plans for the new Uncle Howdy stable revealed. Now it's expected that the new Uncle Howdy stable will debut tomorrow night on Raw. Can't we wait. The stable is said to be led by Uncle Howdy, aka Bo Dallas, and names involved are set to include Rowan, Nikki Cross, Dexter Loomis, and Joe Gacy. The faction is set to honor the late great Bray Wyatt, as Howdy is of course Bray Wyatt's brother, and Rowan was one of Wyatt's closest friends, and one of the members of the original Wyatt family faction. A Fightful Select has offered some insight into plans for the new faction, and according to their new report, there doesn't appear to be any supernatural elements currently planned for the faction. Okay. This could be a good call as fans have been concerned that any supernatural elements of the faction could come across poorly on TV. Mm -hmm. Additionally, Mercy the Buzzard, Huskus Pig, and White Rabbit have been discussed to be a part of the group. 
The report fails to add if these will be played by members of the faction or there will be side characters. Outside of this report, as well as information from the QR codes, very little is known about the faction. Fans for weeks have been trying to speculate on who exactly the group is going to target and it's a tough task to work out as it's not been made clear what the group's mission statement is and what exactly they're trying to achieve. Are you guys excited for this new faction to debut on TV? Let us know in the comments down below. Yeah, I'm, I'm very interested to see how this is going to play out. They've been teasing it for months. I'm ready to see what they got for us, man. So I'm, I'm excited. Next up, a major WWE announcement revealed. It has been rumored that WWE was set to make a major announcement, and the announcement came this morning in Japan. The announcement relates to WWE's willingness to work with other promotions, as WWE will now be working with Pro Wrestling Noah in Japan. Oh, During wow. our event in Yokohama this morning, the legendary AJ Styles appeared via video and announced he would be at the Budokan event on July 13th to face Naomichi Marufuji. Wow. This is a huge deal and is a win-win for everyone involved. This weekend, AJ expressed interest in returning to TNA, and if Triple H is allowing one of his top stars to wrestle in Japan, then the game agreeing for AJ to have a brief run in TNA is yep. completely out of the question. I hope it what happens too. What do you guys think of this announcement? Let us know in the comments down below. And finally, Randy... I, I definitely hope it happens. Uh, I can see Triple H allowing that to happen. I think that would be great for TNA, uh, you know, everyone involved in there. And, you know, great for AJ Styles to go back, go back home for him, you know just to you know kind of elevate that program as well like i love what wwe is doing with these these uh they're not even seeming like one-offs they're seeming like situations that could have some future potential working relationships with other wrestling uh companies so um it's gonna be very interesting to see how things play out going forward but it does seem like Triple H and WWE, the you know the the higher ups, they're they're down to work with other wrestling brands and companies, outside of AEW, of course. One <laughs> reveals reason for returning. Our final story takes a look at WWE digital interview with Randy Orton, who revealed exactly why he decided to return in Scotland. The WWE great made two appearances over the weekend, and surprisingly, Orton revealed that he wanted to be there for his friend Kevin Owens, and he wanted to support Drew McIntyre ahead of his world title matchup. Listen, out of nowhere is kind of my thing, so I figured tonight we're in Scotland. I love Scotland. Hell, Drew is from Scotland. I love Drew. What can I say? I just figured I'd come out all the way over here across the sea and I would help my friend, acquaintance, buddy, whatever you want to call it. But there you have it, folks. The wildest news story. We know why you was there, man. We saw you looking at that WWE and the Speed of Championship while you was helping Cody. You ain't fooling us, Randy. You ain't fooling us. But comment down below. Let me know some other wrestling videos y'all want me to check out. Appreciate all the love and support y'all have shown on the channel. Road to 50 k and I'm still getting the speed of YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.